I when when I looked when I was preparing the question, I saw that you played in the CSL Chinese Super League also with Tianjin Teda, and you know, like there are maybe similarities between the Chinese Super League and Indian Super League in the sense that both are a new league in terms of the wider sk- football scheme, and also like but both have huge, you know, like fan following in terms of population. Like, w- w- what was your experience maybe playing in the Chinese Super League, which was also relatively new when you went there, and also the Indian Super League, which When you arrived, and still now is relatively new. What are the differences, or the what are the com- uh, similarity that you came across? I think the organisation itself, uh, the Chinese Super League, league was a bit more um, experienced. It'd been around, you know, for 15 or 20 years before I start, before I played in the in the league. Um, the, the finances, are, you know, in China are just, uh, you know, through the roof. Even more so now. Um, I think the 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 cultures are completely different between Chinese people and Indian people. Um, you know, the, the the Chinese way of of thinking or mentality of thinking is to throw money at problems, and um, it creates more problems than than solves them. Uh, a lot of times, teams were, you know, chopping and changing foreign players and coaches because of results, um, and it had nothing to do with the foreign players or the or the foreign coaches. Um, Because there's, you know, humongous amounts of money and huge crowds there, and uh, it's a big business, um, the Chinese Super League, and they've now taken a step to the side and and reduced their their foreign contingent um, on the pitch. I think you can play with two or three now, and it doesn't have to be an Asian player. So, if you're playing in China, you're, you know, an international player. You're a, you're a good good player. But when I was playing there. Um, You know the level was still very, very high. Uh, but I, I actually played with um, it was an ex Mumbai coach, uh, Alexander Gimaris, and he he took me to China, and I played 30 out of 30 games on on offer in the league. Played a couple of cup games, scored a couple of goals, did really, really well. Um, and and the same with with Gimmer, the coach he had a great season, and then you know we we both had three year contracts, and we came back to the start of pre season, and we're You know, he didn't travel, and I was training. Uh, they were trying to push me out of my contract, and that's just the way it is in in Asian football. And I don't think India has that side to it. I don't feel um, they've done stupid things with their money. I feel they're very, very conservative. Um, they'll they obviously pay well. You know, forget to get the players from Spain and Australia and places like that. But it's not stupid money where they're they're, they're wasting. Me, and then if they make a mistake. They're more inclined to wait until the end of the season to make a decision, and I think that's always a nice thing for, especially for foreign players and coaches, to not have that pressure of. It's not not that I'm not a good player, but it's like, do I move my wife? Do I move my kids? Do I change the school? Do I chop and change my whole life to go and expect to be there somewhere for three years, and then you in in three or three or four months you're back or you're without a club? So. It's not as cutthroat the Indian Super League, and I don't think it's ever going to get like that. I feel um, the environment with Indian footballers and Indian staff and the clubs. Um, there's a big team and big family aspect, and there's no barriers. Where um, I feel in other leagues like China and South Korea, it's the foreigners and it's the it's it's the local players. Whereas here, we're just one big one big family, which is great. Player wise, it would have to be Steven Gerrard, just because again, before before I became. A, a journalist, you know, he was he was someone I just admired massively in terms of the absolute complete footballer. I think if you were trying to like make a footballer in a factory, he would it would be Steven Gerrard, someone who, you know, he, I think JD Carragher summed it up best once when he said, you know, Steven Gerrard's biggest strength is he doesn't have any weaknesses. Ah, the stadium. Uh, I I don't see really uh, need to do that. Mainly um, such a a big spending but it's true that it would be a, a fantastic stadium that's not bad but uh, you have to be careful and mainly at this moment uh, when we are going to face a very difficult time